This is He Knows His Sport, bringing you that heat and that fart. All right, y'all. We're going to talk about the James Harden versus the Michael Jordan comparison. Let me say it again. James Harden versus Michael Jordan comparison in terms of who's the better scorer. See, this is the issue that the media has. They have a tendency to become a writer's media. You guys have heard me use the term writer's media. There's a reason why I keep using that term. Because the reason why they're called writer's media is because they keep writing as a media onto the next new wave or new foolery or new nonsense. So you've heard me say LBJ writer's media. But I have said James Harden writer's media. The thing is, James Harden writer's media is obviously not as, you know popular as the lbj riders media because obviously james harden is not as popular as lebron james but the truth of the fact of the matter is folks that james harden has been a guy that the media for some reason has overrated to epic proportions let me say that again the media has overrated james harden to epic proportion why i don't know what do they see in this guy that makes them want to do that i can't be able to tell you that But here's the truth for the fact of the matter. James Harden is a player who is a very good, you know what I'm saying, offensive player at moments. He's proven himself to be a bona fide choke artist in the playoffs. So you cannot put a guy like that in the same breath with the likes of Michael Jordan. It's disrespectful. When you disrespect Michael Jordan, who is the greatest basketball player by acclamation, right? If you look up the name Michael Jordan, you will see the title of his word or his name says the greatest basketball player of all time by acclamation. Do you understand what the word acclamation means? That means basically by the majority, by the consensus, pretty much by almost everyone that is a basketball head or a talking head has nominated this guy as the greatest of all time. You guys have to understand in Michael Jordan's 14 year career. You have to understand how prolific of a scorer he was. Now, mind you, in only 14 years, we're talking about you're adding the two retirement years in from the Washington Wizards. So really 12 years of him with the Chicago Bulls. You got 12 years and this man was able to put up 30 plus thousand points in 12 years. James Harden can wish and only wish to meet that requirement in the 12th season. Michael Jordan is what you would call the ultimate assassin scorer. You can't compare a basketball player in terms of scoring the basketball with this relentless sheer will to dominate. You know what I'm saying? Basically, Michael Jordan was the type of scorer that if you took both of his hands, tied it behind his back, he would still try to find a way to score. Did you guys not hear me? Let me rewind that again. Hear me and hear me well. Michael Jordan is the type of scorer because of the ultimate assassin's mentality. That if you take two hands, two of his hands, and tie it behind the back of his hands, he will find a way to definitively score the basket. That's the type of player that Michael Jordan was. That's the type of scorer that Michael Jordan was. So to compare someone of the likes of a James Harden with Michael Jordan, who not only was relentless from a scoring aspect in the regular season, but also even more relentless in the playoffs. But look at Michael Jordan's stats in the playoffs. They're very symmetrical with their with his stats in the regular season. Usually players, their stats dip. It wanes from um, regular season to playoffs. Jordan is the only player in basketball that I know who has symmetrical stats in the playoffs as opposed to regular season. This is why I have him over Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is probably is considered the most skilled basketball player we've ever seen in the history of the game. No one is more skilled than Kobe Bryant in terms of skills, skill set, in terms of what he brings to the table in terms of basketball skill. In, Kobe Bryant is number one, and I can argue that now with the best with the best in him with anybody. But Michael Jordan is the greatest, and there's a reason why Michael Jordan is the greatest because Michael Jordan. And here's the separation between him and Kobe Bryant. Michael Jordan is always willing to take the highest percentage shot. I'm always going to go with the guy who's willing to also always make the right play as opposed to the guy who just wants to chuck it up because of the fact that, hey, he doesn't care about the degree of difficulty. He's just going to chuck it. 
That was Kobe Bryant. And that's been Kobe Bryant's pro, but it's also been his con. This is why his field goal percentage has suffered. But that's another topic, neither here nor there. James Harden is nowhere near any one of those two guys' levels. So before we can even talk about Michael Jordan, we need to talk about James Harden versus Kobe Bryant. See, we can't leapfrog. But that's what the media likes to do. They like to leapfrog and put everybody in the same breath with Michael Jordan. But what you guys have to understand is that James Harden Riders media and basically the way that NBA fans are today, they are prisoners of the moment and prisoners of the second. They look at what's in front of them. They look at what's at face value for the moment or the second at that period of time. And they run with that narrative as if it, it's meaningful. But it's not basketball, man. Because you have a bunch of brain full of mush, brainwashed dodo heads, man. That's what you have at the highest levels here. You have a bunch of people here that propagate as if they know basketball, but they don't know shit about basketball. But they'll tell you, hey, I know this, I know that. They don't know nothing. So Will Kane is the next in line of these ESPN guys that are sitting here and telling you another level of foolery and another level of nonsense. See, what I've come to the realization of a long time ago is these ESPN folks are out trying to outdo themselves with who can say the most foolish stuff because they know it's going to go viral. They know it's going to trend and they know people like myself, you and everybody else is going to talk about it and trust and believe. You see what's happening? It's working. Let me say it again. Trust and believe. And you see what's happening? It's working, folks. That's the truth of the fact of the matter. It is what it is, man. You damned if you do and you damned if you don't. But this is what we've been relegated to. Folks that are prisoners of the moment and prisoners of the second. And they go with whatever narrative that's in front of them. James Harden wished that he could tie Michael Jordan's shoes, let alone be in the same breath when it comes to scoring. When it comes to even the comparison mode. How can you compare these two guys? One is a bona fide choke artist in the playoffs. And one is the greatest winner of all time in the playoffs. Remember, the real NBA season is the postseason. Let me say it again. The real NBA season is the postseason. So when you look at scoring ability, you can't just look at what happened in terms of body of work from the regular season. You have to look at what happened in terms of body of work in the postseason as well. It's the totality. You have to look at basically the full body of work. MJ's cement is already dry. James Harden's cement, cement is still wet. But guess what? No matter how much he puts in, his cement would never, and when I say the word never, it would never compare to the likes of Michael Jordan. So it's not only basketball heresy, it's damn near blatant disrespect, man, and disregard for the greatness of Michael Jordan. It's disrespectful at the highest levels. But this is what we've come to in the modern day media. They will disrespect the legends of the past. And in this case, the legend of all legends. I done told you guys, James Harden is the Tony Romo, a.k.a. Zab Judah of basketball. Let me say that again. James Harden is the Tony Romo, a.k.a. Zab Judah of basketball. That's his truest and most properest levels. MJ is the standard bearer. In so much so that in schools, MJ is talked about when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, measuring yourself with greatness. MJ's talked about in universities, man. Thesis is talked about with, MJ's talked about in thesis on how a human being is supposed to drive themselves to success. So how can you compare Michael Jordan to James Harden? Michael Jordan has transcended the game of basketball, man. What are we talking about here? What's the conversation? See, this is the stuff that I'm talking about. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. These ESPN folks, they have propagated themselves to this level of any foolish thing you can do, I can do more foolish. That's what it is. It's who can say the most foolish nonsense and who can go viral. And the problem is a lot of brain full of mush and brainwashed dodo head followers are falling for this bullshit. But you guys got to be smarter than that. And you got to see everything with what? The true basketball eye test. Come on, man. This is a non-conversation. James Harden versus Michael Jordan. <laughs> Will Kane, you get the biggest higgity hush of the fucking day. This is Hino's Sport. Checking out.